Okay, we're back 749 from the UC Health Training Center. Rick Lewis Show with the voice of the Broncos, Dave Logan. And uh, Justin Simmons joins us, Broncos safety. Uh, before we get started, I got, I'm got i still trying to figure out what you and Sua Cravens were doing post-game in the locker room. I was, I was interviewing Will Parks, and you guys came up and just kind of stood there. And you, I don't know what was going on with that. I, but he, you guys were all laughing. They were clowning what him. What was the deal? Yeah, what was what was that all about? <laughs> yeah, well, Will is notorious for clowning everyone else when okay. they're interviewing. So it was perfect. You know, it was perfect payback. <laughs> it was a golden opportunity to get back at him. So okay. we had, had to do that. Yeah, but what were you guys saying? It, it didn't make any sense to me. Um, you remember? I, I, I'm sure Sue was saying a bunch of, oh, yeah, we, we have like a, uh, how do I explain it? We call it the op list. But it's like, uh, uh, how do I explain this, man? It's like somebody's done something that you, know, you just say, you know what? Okay, you're you're on the opposite. You you're, don't like something that. Yeah, you're getting right. moved up, and so Will was Will while Will was interviewing. Uh, I guess Sue was just messing with him, trying to get him to laugh. So he's like, oh yeah, you're moving up on our list. Like okay, instead of ten, okay. you're gonna be seven this week. Okay, type, you All know, right. like okay. so. Oh, that's that's no bueno. We <laughs> we try we try not to talk about making it to one. <laughs> All right, so I, I I just I know he was laughing hard, but I I didn't get it. I was yeah. like, okay, whatever. The next time, if you ever get Sue uh, to come on with you, he'll explain it way better than I can. He's the creator of it. So. Well, you guys were it was a little intimidating because you were invading personal space <laughs> you guys were both like right up in his face and yeah. in mine as well yeah, we apo- that was no ill intentions towards you that no, was I, all I, for will no i knew that, that. you're okay. not on the op list right? yeah, no, yeah I you're knew good that. i knew i was <laughs> for, now, for now for now for now i'm not on the op list good good so how you feeling how's camp going great camp is going great um obviously we're getting into i don't even know what you call it you know i guess preseason game three three but yep. you know um, so we're excited, though. I mean, practice has been going really well. Uh, from a defensive standpoint, it's been great because, you know, we're still peeling back layers and still so much uh, detail that we can grasp. And, um, you know, it's still a ways away from week one at Oakland. So excited. We had Bradley Chubb on, and I asked him about just sort of the notion of going against somebody else, right? The Niners come to town. You're going to practice twice. It always is a little bit better to see somebody that you haven't been working against for 27 days, right? Oh, yeah, of course. And I think uh, for us, too, um, you know, we've got to go up against Joe, um, obviously all of camp, and um, that's been great. I mean, having the looks, um, you know, a Super Bowl MVP. So he knows what he's doing. He knows how to, you know, look off safeties. He knows how to read coverages. And so um, for us at a standpoint of trying to, you know, get him confused and things like that has been great. And then I say all that because now the Niners come in, Jimmy G. And so um, it's going to be another uh, great opportunity for us to just test, like, you know, where we're at at this at this standpoint um, defensively. And so uh, it'll be good. This is year four for you? Yeah, going into year, year four. Year four, unbelievable. Yeah. And, and one of the things I remember about you, even from the beginning, is you, you were – you're a natural leader. You just had that – you just had that quality. And now in year four, you must be feeling really comfortable uh, about that role. I don't know what it's like when you have that innate ability and you're a rookie. Mm-hmm. You know, you kind of have to temper it a little bit. But you must be feeling pretty comfortable in that role right now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I think uh, – and it's it's really all dependent on the group of guys you have too. And so, um, you know, it's so easy to do that when you have guys like, you know, Vaughn, Wolf, Todd, um, Chris – you know, now Kareem coming in, who's just a natural leader. Um, it's so easy to just, you know, have that role just come in and, you know, you take a hold of it. And so um, I think our defensive unit is great, man. We got a bunch of guys that um, want to get back to what the Broncos are used to. And so um, I'm really excited. You know, I, I always keep saying it in, any, in every interview that we have, but I'm just super excited for the season. And, um, you know, I want to make sure we get this thing right, but I can't wait for week one. Justin Simmons is our guest. Um, new scheme, right, new coaching staff. And you always want to know from a player standpoint, I mean, how, how do I fit into this and am I going to be put in position where I can make plays? I mean, it seems like, again, just watching this, that you're going to have an opportunity to make a lot of plays this year. Is that – I mean, am I reading this the right way? Oh, yeah, of course. And – um, it's a very, I think, secondary-friendly defense. I think that's the best way I can put it. Uh, 
you're just always in the right position um, at the right time. You know, I think we do a great job, uh, well, the coaches do a great job of, uh, you know, teaching us exactly what we need to know um, in every defensive call that we have so we can execute it, um, you know, as close to perfection as we can. And so you see guys around the ball a lot more, um, and it's really teaching us, like, there's one football on the field, right? So let's try and eliminate, um, you know, formations and, and routes as they are uh, presented to us. And then, you know, we just kind of eliminate it as we go from there, and that's why you see guys – um, consistently in camp around the ball, making plays. And, um, and this, you know, the scary part is, you know, we haven't even completely got a hold of it um, mm. at this point in time. And mm. so we can always still get better with that. How about Jamal Carter getting moved up to the linebacker yeah. position from safety? Uh, how do you feel about that? How's he feeling about that? Yeah, he was, he was excited, man. I mean, he loves, he loves playing safety. Obviously, that was his, uh, you know, position the last couple of years and in college. But, uh, man, he was super excited. I mean, all he wants to do is just go out, go around and just hit people, uh, you know, <laughs> just like a linebacker. So, um, I mean, he looks he, like a linebacker. He was excited. Oh, he hits like one too. Yeah. So he was excited, man, and we're excited for him. I mean, yeah. Um, you know, obviously what happened last year and him going down for the season, and he was having a a great start to his camp and uh, coming back, and um, obviously you know we have Kareem and we have a bunch of other guys at, at the safety position, and so. Um, for him, you know, it was another opportunity to just, you know, prove that he belongs and um, really, really great special teams player that we have as well. But in terms of linebacker, man, he's excited. And being at the safety position, he already knows a lot of what we do, a lot of what the linebackers do, being that we have to communicate and, you know, talk with them. And we're always exchanging gap positions and things like that. So it'll just be a natural transition for him. It'll be good. Good deal. Yeah, he looks like a player. Hmm. Yeah. And no, maybe, maybe this will – uh, uh, extend his career. Yeah. You know, he's, he, he's one of those guys that uh, we noticed him rookie year. Mm -hmm. You know, he was making plays, and he's had some injury problems, so maybe this will be it for him. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And he was part of the, you know, our back-end group that's just so versatile. Um, you know, he can, he can play safety, he can play in the box, and so it's great now that he's having his opportunity to show that, you know, he can do that. L last question for me. What's, what's been your single biggest surprise of camp for you? Ah. Uh. Just anything that has sort of hit you in the face, like even though this is your fourth year and now you're firmly entrenched as much as you can be in the NFL, but a moment where it's like, okay, wow. Ooh. Dang, you're, you stumped me. Good you're question, right? I, try, Dave. I try not to get stumped too often. <laughs> uh, Defensive call. Yeah, I the, think, honestly, like, and I didn't mean to cut you off, no. I think the, like, the going into my fourth year and it's just like, wow, is – you know, just the, the defense that we're in now. Um, you know, the last three years being in a defense, um, uh, I don't know how else to explain it other than, explain it other than predominantly man, like mm. tight man coverage in the back end, even in like our zone uh, calls. And, you know, going into this defense, I mean, we have a lot of that as well, but it's structured so much differently. And I wouldn't say one is better than the other, but I would say that this defense, I think you can see a lot more uh, plays being made on the football and you can and if not you see a lot more you know bigger hits because your eyes are just glued to one spot and seeing what the quarterback sees and mm. it's all about you know how can we do a good job of making the guy who gets paid the most money um, uncomfortable the whole game and so I think going into year four because um, I've been a part of that you know the previous defense for the last three years um, it's just a you know huge eye opener about you know how much the game has slowed down in terms of playing in this mm. in this defense and having things work for you. So. Nice. Yeah. Justin Simmons, I like the headband. Yeah, Bless. I appreciate it. Another, <laughs> another, another player who gets it, yeah, Dave. That's right. Uh, Justin Simmons, thanks for coming by. Yeah, man. really appreciate you guys yeah, for having me. I appreciate you. Thank yeah. you, man. Thank Justin you. Simmons, Rick Lewis Show. It's the Fox.